Burns. Is more intervention on the way? Marsha Blackburn is a representative from Tennessee. She is a Republican who voted against the Treasury's $700 billion rescue plan. She joins us now in the studio. Welcome, Congresswoman. We're so glad to have you with us. So good to be with you. Thank you. What is the most pressing concern in your mind about the government stepping in? I mean, many people say something had to be done. We had to see dramatic action. Wall Street was affected. Main Street was affected but you remain against government intervention. What we are hearing from our constituents, and I'm talking to my constituents every single day on this, and this morning talked with some of our banking community, and what most people are seeing, whether they are concerned with uh, the investments in Wall Street or whether they're concerned with retail in Main Street, is they want predictability, and they want to know what the process is going to be, and I think the chairman just spoke to some of that. He did seem Laying to detail out, a lot that's right. of exactly how some of these mechanisms are going to work. That's so right. that was reassuring in some way to you? I think that to, uh, to so many of our constituents, they want to know what the process is going to be. Uh, they want to know what the expectation is going to be. And then what we need to do is to work within managing those expectations. Now, I think also for those of us that uh, were no votes on that bail out. What we need to do is make certain that members of Congress are fully engaged in this as we go back after the election. Has as you we heard look to some of those details from Bernanke? Would no, that I, have changed your vote? No, I, I would still have voted uh, the way I voted. But I think what we have to do is look at what we do to make certain that government sets their priorities, that Congress sets priorities, and that we reduce what the federal government spends, that we begin to look at how we're going to move forward. The vote is over, the process, um, the, the authority is given there. What we have to do is have oversight how that moves forward, how they uh, deal with the banks. But there are oversight committees now, and That's it does seem right. there are many restrictions now in the banks. I'm curious to what you think about sort of no more golden parachutes. There seem to be limits uh, as far as risky activities can, that banks can take. Is that a move in the right direction or the wrong direction as far as you're concerned? There needs to be appropriate oversight. I think what we have seen is regulation has increased in the financial services community over the last good several thing? years. I, I think that some of the regulation uh, would be well placed to, to move aside. And there are certain processes like mark to market Accounting. This morning when I was talking to some of my bankers, one of the things they brought up is we need a decision on this. Suspension of mark-to-market accounting but is something that would But some people say that would allow banks to hide even more. And I mean, many people say one of the reasons we have this current financial crisis is because there was a lack of transparency. Some people say if mark-to-market accounting is taken away, that that, in fact, will make it easier for banks to hide toxic debt. That, and that is one of the arguments that is there. And you're right about that. What we hear by and large from our banks is the suspension of mark to market would be helpful because you can move to a rolling average and not just a one day snapshot and that snapshot in time and they would like to see that adjustment made. Both presidential nominees are suggesting government investment should merit actual requirements. McCain said companies must be reformed, assets restructured until they are sound assets again. I mean, what what do you think of McCain's statement? How, in your view, as a fellow Republican, do you think he is the right person for the job to sort of lead us out of the... When, when you look at John McCain's record over his career in both the House and the Senate, what you have seen is someone who has worked repeatedly to make certain that taxes were low, that he addressed government spending, and that oversight was conducted. Those are important components, and I think that's where, where people want to see their focus. They want, they, want that, they want that component in place. They want to know that someone's going to take command of these issues. Congresswoman Blackburn, we thank you very much. Thank you. Good to be with you. Republican from Tennessee there. More in focus coming up.